What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Slaughter. I'm Kalia, and we got to get this guy a razor so he can shave his little... Turn this down. His little, little shadow going on there so we can become a lady. Now, we've already explored, I think, as much as we can at the pub. See, there's a store out. Obviously, we gotta buy one, right? Oh, can we go in here now? I don't want to go up there. After all this time. Alright. Go into the shop. You wouldn't by any chance have a razor, would ya? Any razors in stock? Shaving? Yes, please. Let me see, I should have one lying about somewhere. Here we go. That should be perfect. Sixpence, if you please. <laughs> Have you ever dressed as a woman? You're barking up the wrong tree, mate. The only time I've ever done that garments of a woman is in our annual nativity. You play Mary? That's right, you're looking at the best mother of God in Bloomsbury Town. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Yay! It's, I'm assuming we need to go home and do it. I should be careful with this. Ooh, that looks like the... <gasps> that razor. But it looks like the razor we used to cut a throat in our dream. Hmm, very suspicious. So let's go home. Get ready. Um, has somebody been in our bathroom? Or was the door always cracked? Hmm, maybe we need a hint to be hint hint. I should visit Cedric and get this over with. Oh, so he's gonna shave me. <laughs> I just thought I had to put myself together. Cedric, my boy. I'm ready. I'm ready for my makeup. Do you have everything you need? I have a wig and a dress. I can't walk with that stubble, get yourself a razor. I'm one step ahead of you. Hehe. <laughs> Fantastic, to the toilet we go. Nice black box by there, by the way. By there, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to see I feel like my face is melting off. What is this stuff made from? I don't quite remember the scientific name. It's rather long. I should have asked the embalmer to write it down. What are you doing to my eyebrows? Don't worry, they'll grow back. They gotta be on fleek. A little more emphasis on the lips, I'd say. There we go. My eyelids have gone numb. That will be the venom gland of the hog beetle. It produces such a vivid shade of blue. Almost done. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the alluring, the fair, the downright ravishing, Sydney Emerson. Do you look like a lady? Oh 
my nurseness. Well, if you want a sight for sore eyes. The only sore eyes in this room belong to me. I feel a fool. Well, I think you look just fantastic. You could really pull this off. Let's hope so, otherwise all of your hard work will be for nothing. Seeing you doled up is reward enough for me. So where to now? Some classy establishment for a girl's night out? I intend to visit Finch's immediately and by the quickest route possible. Not in a mood to show off, then. Fair enough. Is this man bothering you, darling? <laughs> He happens to be a friend of mine. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll deal with him. What happened to you? Get trapped down the coal mines? How witty. I've never heard that one before. Ooh, was that a joke? Don't get wise to me, boy. Look at this savage getting that fine suit dirty. <laughs> now this just will not do at all. Sydney, watch your tempers. He's clearly a dimwit. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> Didn't your mother teach you manners? You should always tip your hat to a lady. Well, don't I feel like the priest maiden at the dance? Seconds later. Seconds later. <laughs> Why do these things only seem to happen when you're around? I guess I have a certain magnetism. How's my makeup? It will take more than a few blows to smudge that stuff. Fantastic. I'm off to Charlie Finch's. Wish me luck. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Alright, Flo, what can I do for you? Forgot their voices. Hello, I'm here to say Mr. Finch. <laughs> it's about time. He's at his wit's end, hasn't slept for two days. He'll sleep like a ton of bricks when I'm done with him. Oh my god. It's the door at the end of the corridor. Hurry it up. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what are we in for? I like his little steppy stool thing. You may enter, my sweet. Aren't you a beauty? Come sit beside me. About chicka wow wow. Crafted by the finest tanners in London. That leather you're sitting on. Stuffed with the down of Her Majesty's comeliest swans. Aren't they protected by law? Only the best for a bottom such as yours, my sweet. Hmm. I'm gonna be a Vivian. Vivian! Vivian, you're a new one, aren't you? Yes, I've only been a fifth street this a week. <laughs> what a heavenly voice you have. <laughs> well, my manners, let me take off my hat. <laughs> now where shall we start? Hmm. Whatever you want. That's right. Whatever I want. I mean, we can't be too suspicious. I think I'm about ready to get down to it. You are? Grab a book from the case and make it a good one. Whatever you want. Okay. Hurry it up, will you? Okay. Pick it up. 
Everything else seems, pr seems pretty dull. Hurry, attack, hurry. Okay, grab it. Jesus. <laughs> what have you got there? The pen penitent porcupine. I want it. I want it. Oh my god. One day a perky porcupine was party to a horrid crime. I don't like the sound of this. Witnessed the slang of a dame and ran away to mask his shame. No, I didn't run away. So scared was he of being hurt, he burrowed deep within the dirt. Stop. I want a new book now. Fine, I'll find another. What? Did he do it? What happens if I try to read it? What have you got there? Boom. I've already had that one. Damn. Get that one. Alright. Read it to him. What have you got there? The Cowardly Cat. I love cats. Read it to me. There once lived a cat more cowardly than most. Who fled his own shadow for fear of cat ghosts. I don't like the sound of this. Till one day he met a kitten so fair she filled him with glee and the courage to dare. That's more like it. He ain't no coward. But then came a wolf to threaten his bride, would the cat face his foe or once again hide? He would stand up to him, wouldn't he? Alas, the day came when his true hue was shown as he let the beast feast on her sinew and bone. That's enough, I want a new book. Fine, I'll find another. I'm in need of a reading. There was another one we had before. I think that's the exact same one we had before. Whoopsie. Get a move on, Vivian. <laughs> okay. Okay. What have you got there? Hamster haiku? Yes, read it now. Hamster full of glee, playful stuffs cheeks with seeds, and noble rodent. That was rubbish. Read another. Sometimes I lamb it. Oh, to be a small hamster. Alas, I am man. What the hell was that? I'm not entirely sure. I'll find another book. Oh my goodness, this child. Maybe nothing will please Charlie. What have you got there, the remorseful rabbit? Read it, read it! And burrows deep a rabbit sleeps, eternally he slumbers. That sounds nice. And never wakes for fear that snakes will tear his throat asunder. I don't like the sound of this. In waking dreams he hears the screams of those he left in anguish. No, I didn't leave her! Well, he hid, did flee beneath a tree forevermore to languish. I'm not hiding, no. I didn't know what to do. <gasps> Salis should have been there. I didn't know he would kill her. <laughs> Charlie, slow down. You're talking about Alice Fairchild, aren't you? Salis should have been there. I didn't know he would kill her. Was it the Ripper? Did you see his face? His eyes. They're still out there somewhere, watching me. I know it. What did he look like? Tall, twice my height. What was I meant to do? His face, Charlie. Describe it to me. I can still see it, every detail. He was... He was... <laughs> it wasn't your fault, but you have to tell me what he looked like. 
Charlie, are you all right? <laughs> it wasn't my fault, was it? No, it wasn't. That's a load off my chest. I feel like a new man. I think I'm finally ready for the first time. Um, ready for what? What I'm paying you for. How about I pick another book? Charlie Finch is done with fairy tales forever. Though I would like a happy ending. <laughs> what about the Ripper? I'll tell you all about him after. Cross my heart, I hope to die. On second thought, I just need to freshen up. Don't be long, my sweet. Oh, no. <laughs> Christ, how do I get out of this one? I can't reveal my identity. Charlie will have me kneecapped. I need to find a way out. Maybe I'll tell him I'm unwell. Still, I'm sure he can tell me more about the river. I need to wash my face. The makeup can take it. Okay. What? Ooh, he thinks you're a lady. Time to face the music. All right. I mean, was this really gonna? Oh, Mr. Finch, I was. Oh dear Lord. Oh, Charlie. Oh, his face. I need to get the hell out of here. Paper? It looks like he has larynx been removed just like Alice. The piece of paper has been shoved into the wound. Uh, mm. It looks like a page from the King James Bible. From the book of Revelation, no less. This isn't the time or the place to examine this in detail. I think it's safe to say he's dead. What are you doing? His pockets are empty. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's... Um... Do we leave at the window or can we just... No, if we walk out, that guy will try to kill me, right? Or wish someone will come straight in after I leave. I need to find another way out and put some time between myself and the medicine. Shoot. Nothing of any use. I'm just making sure we don't forget nothing. Never steal a dead man's booze. I haven't had time for this. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry, Charlie. So long, Charlie. Oh, Run, bitch, run! This was a particularly bad idea. Did he know I was in the bathroom? I should have left this profession behind a long time ago. I spent my youth romanticizing this foul trade. <laughs> now I find myself a grown man with no reputable skills to speak of except to rifle through the possessions of others. I can't stop now. I'll never survive in a workhouse. Run! One way or another, this will be my last case. You sure about that? End of Act One.
So is that the end of the game game? It is! Woo, we finished it! That was actually really good. For the pixelated games, they do make some good stories. I think that's it. There's no like credits, but music's playing. <laughs> But anyways, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, you guys, definitely let me know if you want Act 2 when it comes out. I don't think it's out yet. But if it does come out, let me know if you want me to continue this. I mean, it'd be a good thing to finish up the story and see how it all ends. But it's completely up to you guys, too. Um, if you found this a little boring or whatnot, let me know. I'll wait and see if anything happens, like, after the music. Special thanks. Is there just like no special thanks? <laughs> Sydney Emerson will return in the Salada Act 2. Okay. That was some interesting credits for sure. <laughs> just blankness okay so that was it alright so I enjoyed this like I said if you guys want to see act 2 let me know um, I can't wait to continue on this channel still it's kinda of slow going for me right now but I still want to um, see this channel grow and do a whole lot more so Anyways, I will leave it at that, and I will see you guys later. Alright, bye. Yeah, at this moment I can just sit here and stare into it.